Hi, this is John Young with the Distracting News. We talked a lot about laptop stands the last few weeks, and we've got a couple more that are going to be going uh, the videos live if you haven't seen those yet, but we had five or six, so man, we had a lot of them. We looked at a lot of laptop stands. One of the things that we didn't look at were some of the cases that have laptop stands already built into them. And I have a picture right here. One specifically we want to look at is the Gator. This is, I want to say it right, this is the G-Tour VMS4 ARM 1 PL. It's a lot. This particular one is a hard side case for your VMS 4.0 or 4.1 and it has an articulating arm. Looks like a very, very cool unit. As a matter of fact, let's just look at the real thing, shall we? So here it is. This is the Gator case. This is the G-Tour VMS4 ARM 1PL. Now, one thing that's kind of freaky about it is it is indeed sitting right side up right now. There is a handle here for carrying it like a suitcase, and that handle, of course, is upside down. The first few times I set this up, I was just kind of freaking myself out. I had it upside down each and every time. But this is the case. You'll notice that it has nice hardware, some great clamps with this. And this is some serious stuff. If you're wanting to protect your gear, specifically that VMS4 with this one. Now they make them in all sorts of different for all sorts of different controllers. If you're into the Pioneer stuff, there's stuff there. If you're into the Newark, they've got it. Denon, it's there. I just of course have the VMS 4.1 as my main unit. So that's why I've got this one. But let's take this guy apart a little bit and open it up and see what it looks like. Now I just popped the lid off and this is what the inside of the lid looks like. What you have is you've got a a little hollow spot in there. You can see the hinges right there. That's where the articulating arm rides is behind this. So we pop that, pop it open, but you'll see that we've got a very sturdy box. It's actually a very heavy, heavy box uh, top for protecting the gear. And of course it keeps the articulating arm from banging into the, uh, the, the mixer or the controller, whatever you've got in here. The lid, I've got it sitting down. We'll just open this up and take a look in here. Of course, it's got the instructions. It has a variety of different hardware pieces. We'll set that off to the side. This is our laptop tray, which goes on the end of the articulating arm, and it also has some different connections or different holes and such that line up with a monitor. If a person wanted to use this as a monitor, device and be able to have a monitor up there and maybe say put a uh, smaller computer down here like a mini mac inside the case you can do that with this and there's our articulating arm what i'll do is i'm going to take that out i'm going to set it up get a laptop on and show you what that looks like before we put a controller in so we're looking at the inside of the case the cover i've set that off to the side i have the articulating arm there is a little set screw on that so you can put the arm on slide it on get it into position, and with an Allen wrench, you could tighten up that little set screw. I'm gonna move this up. You need to be able to see that a little bit more. You can't see that. So at the top, we have our little spot. I've got it, my angles adjusted the way I like it. And then we can literally slide the laptop tray on. And then there's a little, little thumb screw that we can put in that keeps the tray from coming off. There's our, there's our tray. I can adjust it up and down a little bit if I want it lower, higher. There is some adjustments on the tension to get it into position the way I'd like it. And I kind of played with a little bit, so this is kind of the height I think I like it. So then you can take your laptop and slide it right in here, and you are good to go. It has a nice pad. This is a slip-resistant pad. It also has, if you can see it, a couple of foam rubber pads right there. What those will do is the laptop can go in there, and it's the laptop's putting pressure on these, and these are adjustable. So if you have a thicker laptop, you can adjust these up. This is obviously set for a MacBook Pro. But now, this is in there pretty well, pretty well. I mean, I'm kind of shaking the table or moving the arm rather than the laptop moving or sliding at all. It's not sliding at all. But I can set this to the side. 
and now I can get the controller in there. Let's get that. So I've got the American Audio VMS 4.1 in, in the case. A couple of things. First off, as you can see, there's a lot of controls in the front. This is very well thought out and very well designed. This will pop right out, the front will pop right out. I now have access to all of my controls and of course I can plug my headphones in all right there. Secondly, I'm just going to tip the VMS4 up. You'll see that there's about a two inch gap down there. Two, two and a quarter, somewhere in that ballpark. That would be a great spot to be able to put in some extra things. Now I mentioned the Mini Mac a little earlier. I think there would be almost enough room for a person to have a Mini Mac under there and to be able to have your computer, your monitor, your keyboard off to the side if you need a keyboard. But once you get going, you may not even really need a keyboard too terribly much. But that's up to you. There's room. Cables could be down there. A wireless microphone receiver could be put in there. Whatever you need to do, you could put it there. Running the wires, kind of discreetly up the articulating arm. Things would look very clean and very professional. Behind the mixer, and it doesn't matter if it's the American Audio Mixer, the Pioneer Mixer, whatever you're using, there's a nice area back there so you have plenty of room to go and connect uh, the cables and such to your, your board. Whether you're doing XLR, if you're doing the RCA, tippering sleeve with the quarter inch jack, whatever you're using, there's plenty of room to get the wires in there, put the extra wire down, run it out the front so everything is clean and neat from the guest perspective. So we've got the VMS 4.1 and the laptop. We're all in, I didn't put any cables on it yet, but we're all here. What I like about this articulating arm is I can adjust, I can go up, I can go down, it can go to the left, it can go to the right, forward, backward, just a ton of, of flexibility and adjustment. I've been using laptop stands. You've seen some of the videos. We've been doing it in the office. We've been doing it on the road with the, the computer. After using those for a little while, one of the things I didn't realize would be such a big issue for me is the adjustability of the height. Some of the laptop stands are, they are what they are. There's no adjustability. Well, when I'm at my taller table, I've got a four foot by two, two, two yeah, four foot by two foot table, and I have it to its top position, so it's higher than a standard table height. Well, when I have a tall laptop stand that is sitting back a little bit so I can have control, this is too tall and too far back, and it's really uncomfortable for me. Having the ability to bring the laptop forward and bring it down a little bit for me, this is a great working height, about a foot off the table. I can work comfortably here, I can work comfortably on my board. This is a win-win. Initially, when I saw the price of the G-Tour case, there's a little sticker shock. This is coming in close to $300. I thought, wow, it's a lot of money. Well, after using the laptop stands, which are getting close to $100, comparing that to this with a case to, con to protect, plus the articulating arm to get this where I want it, this is looking like a much better deal. I, I really, just for the comfort of working and having a workstation in which you can uh, do what you need to do, this is a great option. Check this out. This is the G-Tour series of cases from Gator Cases. I'll put a link in the description below. But this one is for the VMS series, the VMS4 series. They have them for all sorts of Newmark, Denon, Pioneer. If it's out there and you're using it, they've got one. And they have some generic ones. But this is with the articulating arm, which the more I'm playing with it, the more I'm really liking this. Some people are going to wonder, is this heavy? It is well built. There's some weight to it. I'm not going to tell you there's not. But it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. When I first got it, it's pretty beefy. But the controllers that we're putting in here really aren't that heavy. So you add the two together, you're really not that bad. So can a, a female DJ carry this? Not a problem. It carries just like a suitcase with that handle I showed you at the beginning of the video. It's good to go. So. Great protection for your board, an articulating arm to protect your back. This is John Young, talking to you about the Gator Case G-Tour for the VMS 4.1 with the articulating arm.